What's going on guys? Welcome to Agent Development. Have you guys ever woke up in the morning and asked yourself this question? Who should I be marketing to today? Or who should I be contacting either via phone or email or, or text message? Or who should I door knock today or send direct mailings to? Well, if you've ever had that question, I think that this video is for you. Today, we're gonna to talk about a function inside of Remind called the cell score. Coming right up. All right, so I know you guys are probably asking yourself, what is a cell score? So to give you the answer, I'm gonna read it directly off of the Remind website as they define it, okay? The cell score is a machine learning model that identifies which off-market residential properties are likely to transact sooner than others in the area. Measured on a high, medium, and low scale, cell score is attached to the properties, whereas the buy score is attached to the individuals. So let's pretend you wanted to send out a mass mailing, but you're a cheap guy like me and you don't want to spend 50 cents on a postage stamp for every single house in the neighborhood. You can go to Remind and figure out which homes are most likely to sell and then only mail to those properties. All right, so now I have my laptop sitting here in front of me. I pre-selected a recently sold listing. As you guys know, uh, whenever a property comes on the market or a property is recently sold, Sold, a lot of times the neighbors will also be actively wondering what their property would sell for so I think that that's a pretty good time to send them the mailings or start door knocking or marketing to those neighboring properties so I just brought up a recently sold townhouse here in Cottage Grove I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut just the street address out of here copy that and then I'm gonna bring that over here into Remind all right, so when we get into this search area here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and paste the address from this property over into Remind really quickly. And as you can see here, it brings up the uh, property address and then it gives me the option to either select the property details or go over and show the property on a map. So I'm gonna select show property on map. Here is the property that is uh, currently uh, just sold. And here is the neighborhood that the property is in. And all of these little blue dots represent different townhouses, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do now that I'm in this map view is I'm gonna go over to add filter. And I only wanna look at properties that aren't currently on the market. So I'm gonna go down to off market. I'm gonna select off market. So now I'm not bringing in properties that are actively listed with other realtors. And then the second thing I'm going to filter here is I'm going to go down here on this left pane and I'm going to select cell score. So as you can see here, it's going to bring up all of the cell scores here in this neighborhood. And these are color coordinated here. Anything that is this color blue is low. The brighter, more royal blue is medium and then green has a high cell score. So I want to filter these out to only medium and high cell scores select apply and then as you're going to see here on the right all of these properties that have medium and high sell scores are listed in this right pane and as you're going to see here on the map these are the properties they're color coded uh, just medium and high sell scores so let me just randomly select one of these high sell score properties here and this one it shows that it's canceled but let's uh let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper here i'm going to select the property and this is going to be all of the listing details and information on the property who had the property listed at one point you can go down to public record and it says that this particular seller this particular homeowner has owned the property for over 30 years could be why it has a high sell score because the algorithm is saying that people in this neighborhood typically sell um, after owning a property for so long so as you keep going down here it has the property history if there's a mortgage on the property it will show the mortgage information which there is no mortgage information so that tells me that the property uh, probably doesn't have a mortgage on it can't be too sure but according to remind it doesn't show any uh, mortgage uh, information or anything like that now it says that the property was canceled but when you look closer here it was canceled in 1992 so it's not a recently canceled listing or anything like that and as you go down it has the valuation for the property so remind thinks this property is worth about 185,000, and this is where it's pulling those values so it's pulling them from zestimate redfin remind has their own uh, valuation system and then these top two here are actually appraisal companies and this is their estimated value so it just took an average of that it says that it's worth about $185,000. Now, obviously, as a real estate agent, we're going to do our own analysis here if this person actually wanted to sell this property. But this just gives us a good idea of how much equity this person could potentially have in the home. So keep going down. As you get down to the bottom, it says owners and associated people. 
If I go ahead and open this, it's gonna show me who the owner of the property is, and it looks like it has two records for the same owner. And then if you click down here where it says contact information and open this up, a lot of times there'll actually be contact information for the actual homeowner. Now it's not always, and sometimes the properties don't have any contact information for the owners. However, in this particular situation, there's two phone numbers and four email addresses for this particular owner of this home. Now, if you see this DNC here, this says that this particular number is part of the do not call list. So of these different contact points, the only one we're not allowed to use is the one that says DNC on it. So there's another phone number as well as four other emails. Now to you new agents out there, people who are out there actively looking for people to prospect to, I would say, why don't you reach out to this person? Give them a call, send them a text, send them an email. I'll tell you right now that giving them a call will probably get you uh, the furthest in terms of setting up an appointment with this particular seller. But either way, this is a free way to get contact information for people who might be actively looking to sell their home. Now let's just say maybe you don't want to reach out to this seller independently. Maybe you just want to send out a mass mailing to the entire neighborhood or at least the neighbors that have high or medium sell scores. Let me show you how to do that really quick. All right, so now we're back on the map view. As you can see, I'm zoomed in on this neighborhood. So that's all that's showing up in this right pane, as well as I have uh, went ahead and added these filters, the off market and the sell score filters. If for some reason, some of these other properties were popping up on this right pane, and I wasn't wanting to send out mailers to some of these other single family properties, all I would have to do is come up here to the polygon tool and this draw a polygon shape right around the neighborhood that I was targeting. Let me do that really quick. So now it's only gonna bring in the properties that are inside the shape, the polygon here. All right, so now I'm gonna go over to the right pane where I have all of these properties. It looks like I have 48 results and I'm going to select all. And then from there, I'm gonna add these to my cart. I already have a cart here that's named potential sellers. If I didn't have that, I could just name the cart whatever I want. And then I'm gonna add the 48 properties to that cart. Now you're gonna to wanna to go over to the left-hand pane here under search, you're gonna see where it says carts, select carts. And this is gonna bring up all the properties that I just put inside that cart. Now, if I was a guy who had a custom mailer that I had already designed and I didn't mind stuffing and putting postage on envelopes, I could always do this. I could always go over here and select all of these addresses, go to more and go to print labels. From here, it's gonna bring up uh, who do I wanna send the, the letter to, the property owner, but do I want to send it to the property address or their mailing address? Some of these properties might be investment properties, so I always want to select mailing address. It's going to make sure that the letter gets to the actual owner of the property. And then I'm going to go down here, select my label type, whichever type of label that I purchased, select print labels, and then it's going to bring up here a PDF of the labels and you're able to print these and you're able to stuff these envelopes and send these off yourself. Now, if you're a person that doesn't have a ton of time and you don't wanna go through the process of stuffing envelopes and things like that, if you think you have a better use for your time, then you can always go up here and select send mailers and then you can decide to name your campaign. In this particular situation, I'll name it Ironwood Geo Farm, okay? I'll select build campaign. And now it's gonna bring me into the Remind uh, direct mail system. And so from here, I'm gonna select what I wanna send out. Say I wanna send out a letter, quantity 52. It's telling me that I can send out 52 pieces for around $45. Now I can choose my design. And here I will go ahead and choose one of these couple designs that they have here. I will select personalize now. It doesn't matter which design you pick. All right, so from here, it's gonna let you select a theme or a color scheme. I'm gonna go ahead and select this red one down here, and then I'll go to the bottom and select next. Now I'm able to select a logo as well as a photo for the letter. So I already have mine uploaded into the system here. I have the uh, Edina Realty logo, um, but if I didn't, I could go ahead and select upload image and then I could just upload it from my actual computer. So since I already have it, I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna choose in here my headshot. Down here we can put our return address, all of our information, including our full name. Select next. Now here's a letter template that Remind already has in here. You could go ahead and read through this and modify this to whatever your liking is. However, if you already have a letter template, you could always go to your letter template that you currently already have. You could highlight the body of that letter, copy, 
bring over into this space here and you could paste it in here and that way you know that the letter's saying exactly what you'd like it to say. Now I'll select next. And then you can see here my mailing here, um, Ironwood Geo Farm here is at the top. It says, do I wanna use the labels I just uploaded? And I do, so I'm gonna select next. And now it gives you the option to add other addresses. So say you wanted to send a letter to your home or to your office, just so you knew what you were mailing out. Now is when you would add that address. I'm just gonna go ahead and select next. And now it's just checking for incorrect addresses, making sure that the names jive and they match up with the property addresses. All right, so here's the campaign summary. Um, down here, it's gonna show me how many addresses were actually valid. It looks like 49 of 52 were valid. Um, it's also gonna give me the option here at the top to proofread my actual letter. So let me just go ahead and take a look at this. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the, uh, the proof. This is what it's gonna look like. As you can see, it has my logo at the top and the bottom. It put my picture in here. And overall, I'm pretty, uh, pretty satisfied with it. All right, so right below proof, you'll see where it says mailing frequency. Right now, I just wanna send out one mailing to this list. However, if I wanted to start a campaign where I was sending out a letter like every other week or once a month, I could always schedule multiple mailings and it would just send those out automatically. Going down here, it shows my campaign cost. Looks like I'm spending $42. Looks like it's 87 cents per mailing. And so if I'm okay with that, just go up to design is approved select that box add it to the cart and as you can see here's my mailing and now i'm able to check out there you have it guys in a nutshell that is the sales score function of remind all right i hope that that video was helpful to you guys if you guys found value please remember to like and subscribe to the channel as i plan to put out a ton of content this year thank you so much for watching and i will see you all on the next one